So I've got the A to C on the CGX mount, and here's a look at my guiding. It's point, sorry, it's point eight five. So this is really phenomenal guiding for the uh, A to C on um, that I've ever had. Really, I'm shooting a Mini One, um, which is a Spiral Galaxy uh, by the Big Dipper. And I found the reason that I was having the issue before when I was using this mount is I had accidentally entered the date as 2041. <laughs> so I was essentially 20 years into the future. But there's a, a sub on M81. And you can see it looks really good. Stars are quite pinpoint. So I am really looking forward to this data that I'm collecting tonight. I think it's going to be... Uh, a uh, pretty good image that I'm going to get here of uh, M81. So we'll see how this turns out. You can see kind of the, the spiral structure already. I'm doing two minute exposures at uh, ISO 1600. And uh, yeah, I'm doing a, a 20 second calm down period just, you know, to make sure the mount stabilized through the dither because I'm dithering every frame. So uh, yeah, hopefully we get a, a nice image here of M81. I've always wanted to shoot this galaxy at this focal length, but I was un really unable to with the advanced VX mount. It just didn't ever seem to track that well in this part of the sky. So, uh, yeah, we'll see how this turns out. It's night two with the uh, CGX. So yeah, here's just another look at one of the subs zoomed in. You can see how the stars are quite circular. So I'm pretty happy with uh, this data I'm collecting. You know... I think I'm going to get a good image here of M81. I'm doing a two minute exposures, but again, I don't have uh, I don't have any light pollution suppression filter or anything on, so this is just straight uh, broadband imaging of M81. So the moon comes up later tonight in a few hours, so I'm hoping I can just shoot until the moon rises. But uh, yeah, this is a great test for the uh, for the new mount. So, uh, yeah, we'll just see how all this data turns out. I'm going to try and get a few hours on, on this tonight, and I don't know if I will shoot it again possibly tomorrow night, or maybe go after uh, M81, uh, I mean the, the Cigar Galaxy, um, its neighbor. So, yeah, we will, we will see. That would be M82. This is M81. I don't know why I said M81. But, uh, yeah, I've always loved observing these two galaxies visually and being able to get a good image of them at a pretty decent focal range.